Hello everyone, this is one video guide on how to install the DFD data recovery tool, the latest version 1.8. Before users install everything, you need to connect the USB cable and the external power supply cable. After you connect these two cables, go to download the latest version of the DFD, the 1.8. Here I have put the latest version here. Click to install it. At this moment, you don't need to launch the DFD because you haven't installed the drivers for this device. So after the software is installed, you need now to install the drivers within the device manager. Under the other devices, you will find two unrecognized items. One is the DFL DE device. We need to install the driver. Locate the driver within the DFL DE installation folder. Find the DFL DE installation folder. Snack DFL DE. Click OK. Then install it. After the DFD device driver has been installed successfully, you will find the DFD device under the Universal Serial Bus controllers and un under other devices. Users find only the USB serial port unrecognized. It's the same way to install the driver. Locate the COM port driver within the DFD installation folder. Snake come. Just wait a moment. So the port driver has been successfully installed. So check three places to make sure everything has been installed properly. The first, disk drives. The two channels have come up. Second, the ports. The disk firmware lab com, com port 7. On other pieces, the com port number can be different. For example, com 3, com 5, or com 13. The third place to check is the DFDE device. If the three places have no problem, that means you have installed everything properly. The next thing you need to do is to click the DFDE icon on your desktop to create the registration file. Register this file. So after this file has been generated successfully, just send it to your support engineers or sales representative and ask them to send you back with the activation file. The name is dfl.dat. Click OK. Here is the registration file, so you just need to send this file to your sales representative. I have got the activation file and put it here. So, at this step, the only thing I need to do is to import the activation file, the DE, 
So I click uh, DF activation file. Click OK. So after that, I import the activation file. We can enter the DF or DE program successfully. Click the about. You will find the current version of the software you are using. 1.8, the latest version until July 20th, 2014. Now you can start using the DFO software. Thank you for watching this video.